In 2024, crypto made its biggest mainstream leap thanks to US Bitcoin and Ether ETFs. But here in the state of Wyoming, the government is already pushing into the next phase of growth for crypto, payments. The Wyoming Stable Token Commission is developing what would be a state-issued stablecoin backed by the US dollar, and they say it could make financial transactions cheaper and easier for its citizens and businesses. I think success is um, adoption of understanding a domestic stable coin, stable token, and having a system that's transparent, that is fully backed by our short-term treasuries, that's dollar dependent. And, you know, I think one of the big things for me is to be able to on, be, bring back onshore a lot, of our, a lot of our debt. ETFs make it easy for investors to safely hold a regulated asset in their portfolio that gives them exposure to Bitcoin. The crypto and its underlying blockchain technology were always intended to be used for more than just price speculation. The hope is that stable coins or stable tokens as we call them, with our Wyoming Stable Token Project, will be used in everything from moving large blocks of institutional dollars um, from facility to facility with very minimal intervention along the way or a few intermediaries. And in a retail context, I can go down to my local coffee shop, use Wyoming Stable Tokens to buy a cup of coffee and really avoid some of those transaction fees that are imposed using the more traditional payment rails that we have now. This would be as simple as pulling up a QR code on your phone or using NFC technology to tap to pay, similar to how you would at any kind of point of sale kiosk, and using Wyoming stable tokens instead of something like a credit card system where retailers are getting a 4 to 5% hit on the transaction cost, and perhaps you as a consumer have a 1, 1.5% 1 transaction cost, even sometimes where the retailer will pass on that cost to you, the consumer. Those fees for using a blockchain to accomplish that transaction can be fractions of a penny no matter the size of the sale. There's also a community building element to it. Officials are hoping to drive real returns for Wyoming residents. Let's say that you go to a blockchain, you have a wallet and you say I want to buy a Wyoming token. You're going to put a dollar in through that institutional partner, that partner reaches out to the state of Wyoming and says, hey, issue a token for me, now you have it. That, that, that dollar that you transfer to the state of Wyoming is now getting put into the reserve. And the reserve account is being invested again because you need to make sure that you don't leave that money sitting in a bank account. It needs invested in treasuries or reverse repos. That investment in treasury and reserve repos generates interest. That interest is what the state makes by doing this, right? Because the state is not charging you to issue that token. That token goes to you. So the state uses that interest to not only pay for the vendors that are powering that, and whatever is left, that money goes into actually the, the community. The Wyoming Stable Token is in part a response to the reluctance of the Federal Reserve to create a central bank digital currency, or CBDC, at the federal level. It is clear to me that um, digital assets are going to have a future. The United States has to address this issue. Washington's being a little bit stodgy, which is why Wyoming being a nimble and entrepreneurial state can make a difference. According to Atlantic Council, there are more than 30 countries piloting a CBDC, including the digital euro, and 19 of the G20 countries are now in the advanced stages of developing one. CBDCs have been widely criticized due to concerns around privacy and surveillance on government-run blockchains, but Navis said that wouldn't apply here since Wyoming plans to use public blockchains, such as Ethereum or Solana, instead of private Private networks. The group hasn't specified exactly which networks it will use, but has said it wants the coin to be available on several different platforms. Stablecoins are supposed to keep parity with an underlying asset, like the US dollar, but they can and have deviated from their peg due to a spike or drop in demand, especially with lack of liquidity, poor collateralization, regulatory crackdowns, or network congestion. The Wyoming stable token will be backed with a 102% reserve, which will be comprised of cash short duration treasuries and repurchase agreements. We have in our statute a requirement to be only holding treasuries with a year or less to maturity, U.S. Treasury repurchase agreements with 30 days or less to maturity. So we've sufficiently, well we believe, that we've de-risked a Wyoming stable token from a de-pegging event with some of those actions. The Cowboy State isn't new to pushing the boundaries of business law. In 1977, it created the LLC and has passed more than 30 pieces of crypto legislation 
to create a more favorable regulatory environment for businesses and investors since 2019. It takes three to five days for someone to receive money. We have not been able to bridge that gap with traditional financial services. We have had private entrants in this industry that have issued stable tokens that are regulated, and now the state of Wyoming is looking to do this at the public sector um, to, to provide another avenue for uh, people to make choices in how to move money today.